Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and welcome to my channel. Tonight's live stream is going to be all about some amazing drugstore brands, some of my favorite products I've brought here to share with you. Some of them are products that have been around for a while, and you just don't hear much about them anymore. You know, we're in a world right now of fast makeup. We've heard of fast fashion. Well, it's fast makeup also. And so products are coming out every day and products come and go and there's some amazing things that get passed over. So I'm really excited for you to be here for this live stream. If you're here later watching the replay, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here too. And I hope you'll leave in the comments for me your favorite brand from the drugstore. From the drugstore, I'd love to know your favorite brand. And hello, Leah. We're so happy you're here tonight. And I'm so excited that you ladies have joined. And we're gonna get started with a brand that I think has not gotten enough press lately, and that's NYX. When I first came onto YouTube about seven and a half years ago, I just saw NYX everywhere. And now you don't hear that much about them. They're not that hyped up. And I think they have some amazing products. Some of them are brand new that I've brought to share with you. And some of them have been around for a while. Let's start first. Yes, and I wanna let you know that everything I'm talking about tonight is linked in the description, just like a regular video. If you just click the show more or the down button, if you're on the phone on the side, all of, the, all of the links are there and I do get a small commission from that and that helps support my channel so I can buy all of these products to share with you my opinions. So I really appreciate it so much. Let's start first with a brand new product from NYX and this is called Thick It, Stick It. <laughs> this is great, I really love this. I have this in my brows right now combined with another product I'm going to be speaking about. Hi Diane, I'm so happy you're here tonight, welcome. We're talking about NYX right now and they've just come out with this brand new product that has fibers in it for your brows, which I really need. I have super fine brows. I don't have tons of hair. And the new trend for 2020 is these really full brows that sort of lift straight up. And mine really can't do that without some help. So I love this. I bought the shade Taupe and that was a really nice match for me. Usually in a pencil, I will buy the lightest that I can buy, which would be a uh, light blonde or blonde. But this, I decided to try taupe and I'm really happy with it. So this is brand new from NYX and it's called uh, Thick It, Stick It. <laughs> the next one I wanted to talk about is what I'm wearing on my face tonight. Tonight, I'm not officially wearing a foundation. I am wearing what they're calling a concealer serum and it's from NYX and it's from their Bear With Me line. I really love this. It's great for under the eyes. It doesn't get my fine lines. Now tonight what I did was I put a little setting spray on a brush to make it damp and I put just a few little dots and blended it out and I really like the look of it. I've worn it that way a couple of times, and of course, several times I've worn it in the under eye area. I've talked about this product before, how much I liked it, and I think it runs around $11.99. Now, initially I bought it in Fair, which was really super light. I wanted it sort of to brighten the under eye area and it was almost too bright. So the one that I'm sharing with you tonight is beige. That's the shade. Now these are selling out. <laughs> when I went into Ulta, there were just all these bare holes where people had bought this product. And so this is really a hot new product from NYX. Hello, Helen, and I've really been looking forward to you being here too, so I appreciate it. I know she wanted to join us last time, and I hope you're feeling better. We're, I'm so happy you're here. Now, another product from NYX that I ended up going back and getting a couple more of 
for these new eye pencils. They're called Epic Smoke Liner. Now these are really cool. I initially bought it in this mauve shade. It's called Mauve Grit and I thought it was really a very unique shade. I'm going to draw it on my hand so that you can see it. But I love the shade Mauve and it's hard to find. Oh, I just broke the pencil. That's live television for you, right? I unscrewed it too much. There we go. All right, so this is the initial shade that I bought. I thought it was so beautiful in the packaging. And on this side is a brush for you to smoke it out. Now, what I found was when I let it dry on my hands, I could rub it away. So this isn't going to be a, one of those long lasting, but as long as you're not rubbing your eyes or anything, it's going to stay on. It's just not touted as a long lasting product but i think this mauve is so beautiful now i liked it so much that i went back and bought this blue shade it's called navy heat now i am such a fan of navy and as you can see this is cut on an angle the eye pencils so i find that it glides beautifully on my eyes and i'm going to put this on my hand because this is almost like a slate blue, even though they're saying navy. It's a little more slate, and I think it is really beautiful. And I see that Cece has a question, is the concealer serum good for dry skin? It is meant for that. My uh, skin is really combination skin, but my under eye area can be dry at times. And Cece, it worked great for me. It spreads beautifully and you need so little, like just a drop of it. So I love your question. Thank you. And Shirley, I'm so glad that you're able to come tonight. And Rosa, you're watching from New York. Oh, my New York friends. I love New York. So many people from New York have moved from New York to Florida since I've been a kid. So I've had many friends from New York. Some of my, my bestie actually is from Long Island. So I love New York. And this is Mocha Match. I bought the pencil that I was just talking about from NYX in this shade because I love brown liner. Do you like brown liner? Brown liner and navy and sort of like a mauve or um, burgundy are my favorites. So I've gotten away from using black and I usually go with one of those shades. I think it really just makes the eyes pop. So I've been happy with those pencils. I really like those. Now another pencil from NYX, what I've been doing a lot lately, especially when I do these videos because I'm under very hot lights, is using a liquid liner. And I find that that works beautiful on the eyes too. Now I bought it, it's their Epic Ink Liner. Now my daughter wears uh, ink liner a lot and she feels this is as good as the Stila pencil, which is a lot more. And it's got a very fine point to it, easy to draw on. I'll just draw a line on my hand so you can see, but really lasts. So when I am going somewhere where I know it's going to be hot or I want my makeup to really last, to not smudge, to be on point, then I've been using this NYX. So this has been great. And hello to Isabel from Los Angeles. Isabel, it's great that you're here tonight. And Elhan and Joelle, you're all the way from Canada. Wow. Do you think the, she has a question for me. Do you think the concealer serum would mix well with a moisturizer? I bet it would. I have not tried that yet, but that is a great idea, Joelle. I'm going to try that tomorrow morning. I haven't tried that yet, but it's very pigmented. So I can tell you that. And you need little, very little, but it's got such a nice, let me show you. I'm running out of hand space here. But let me show you on my hand what I mean. So there's a drop of it. And even better, I think I'll show you on the glass palette. But I want you to see the coverage. Look at how my skin, how different it looks with this concealer. 
What I found is it did a really good job around my nose with uh, broken capillaries, covering those. So I really love that. And hi, Bunny, she says, my favorite subject. Yes, and Kelly Girl, 83. I have everything linked. It's in the description, just like any regular video. So anything you'd like to look at, it's right there for you. And I've talked to Kelly Girl 83 for years. So I'm so happy you're here, Kelly. That's, that, I've got goosebumps right now. I'm so excited. This is great. Now I love, I, I don't know if you ladies love this, but I love palettes that have the bronzer or a blush, like three things in it. So everything's just in front of me. And so NYX has this very affordable one that has banana powder. It's got the bronzer and then a highlighter. And let me show you the highlighter here so you can see. And it's sort of a golden one, which I didn't have a lot of golden highlighters. So I think, I also like to put these on my eyes sometimes. I'll put them in the middle. But I thought this was a great deal. It's very affordable. I love the banana powder. I used it tonight in this area of my face. The contour was beautiful. Let me show you how that looks. Beautiful, easy to blend out. It wasn't too much. So I really like that. And then this banana powder. I hadn't had a banana powder in a while. And that's a great way to brighten your face. You could even put banana powder along the cheekbones to brighten in place of a highlighter. I will often do that if I'm just going to work and I don't want to be too blingy and I'll just put a little banana powder or neutralizer in that area like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in uh, brightener actually is what I love to put along the cheekbones. Then I get a brighter look without all the shimmer. So wow, we have everybody's talking here and says, uh, why am I just getting this notification? Uh, so what we're doing now, I know we put out in the community post about the live streams and uh, sometimes it, I heard you can't get those on an iPad, the notifications. So I have been putting them out in the community post so you can get those, I guess, off your phone or computer, but not an iPad. So um, I'm so excited you're here, Chanel, and um, we've got Glamorous Habits. Thank you so much. This is an outfit I've had for a while. I actually bought this for a show I was doing at school, and I just love it. I got it at Dress Barn a long time ago, so um, I thought it would be fun to be a little bit more blingy tonight. So the last thing I want to talk about from NYX that I'm wearing right now, and I didn't list it in the description, but you can click any link and it will take you to the store on Amazon where I have this. And it's the NYX retractable lip pencil in the shade is sand beige. That's what I'm wearing and a gloss right now. And I love this. So creamy. I wore this to school today and it stayed on the whole day through coffee, through eating my lunch, everything. I'll show you the color. It's just perfect. And it's right here. You can use this with pretty much any lipstick shade that you have. You can even use beiges to blend into your reds to just give a, a fuller look to the lip and more definition. I don't know about you all, and you can, I would love the comments, but I feel like my lips have lost some definition in the last couple years. I think as we age, we do lose some of that definition, and a lip pencil is just a total game changer. I put on the gloss I have on for, first without a lip pencil, and then when I did the lip pencil, it just totally brought out my lips and changed the look of the lips. So I'm finding at 57 and a half that lip pencil is so important, even though I always, I actually got made fun of for having large lips as a kid. Now they're in style. I'm just waiting for uh, spider veins to come into style. I'm waiting for that. I told my husband the day those come into style, I'm, I'm good to go. 
So yes, Isabel says she's excited to hear about the lip color. And I'm going to tell you the gloss that I'm wearing on my lips really soon. I'll give you a clue. It's from Maybelline. So Phyllis, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for your comment, Phyllis. Phyllis is so loyal on, on, uh, Facebook and Instagram. I just appreciate all of you ladies so much. So that's all that I brought. I brought five things or six actually to share from NYX, but now I want to dip into Maybelline because so many of you love Maybelline. I would like to hear in the comments what your favorite brand is. Maybe a brand you feel that you're the most loyal to or you buy the most products from. That will help me so much for future videos when I'm trying to decide what I want to review because obviously I'm one person. I can't review everything. So uh, thank you, B. Walker. I said this was a, it's a jumpsuit actually. I bought it Dress Barn for a show I was doing at my school. It was at night and I wanted to dress up. So I decided to uh, wear it tonight when I was here with you ladies. And hi, Sharon. We're glad you're here and uh, just a smile. Thank you so much for coming too. So Maybelline, right now what I'm wearing on my eyes is this palette. I don't know if any of you have it and you wanna share, if you do, share your thoughts on it. But this is their lemonade craze. This is a beautiful palette, and right now on Amazon, it's just a little over $10. These shadows are amazing. They're so beautiful. I think they're highly underrated. Maybelline is probably the brand, them and Flower Beauty, that I own the most eyeshadows from. I love Revlon, and I have some here tonight to share with you. But when I looked through my collection, I was like, wow, I had bought so many of the City Mini palettes. I have pretty much all of them that they ever made, trying out those shades. And then they have this, which I think was one of their best palettes. Right now I'm wearing this brown here in the crease. I went in on as liner and used the powder. I also used that NYX liquid liner I told you about, but I like to go over my liner with powder to soften the eye look. It really does nice. I also like to go under the eye with powder. That really helps uh, give more definition to the eye, yet a really soft look. And then I used this shade, which is called Citrus. It's, um, oh, I use this one here has sparkle to it and I use that in the middle and I mixed it with this one here which is called strawberry lemonade look at that sheen and what I find is these aren't glittery they have a very soft shimmer to them so I've been so happy with these I think they're beautiful I love uh, playing in them there's so many fun shades here and, you know, initially when I bought this, I bought it because I had bought a Lancome, that big heart palette. I don't know if any of you own that, but it was one they made for Valentine's Day, and I just was in love with it. Well, I realized when I was using that how I liked some of these brighter shades on my eyes that I'd never really tried before. And like this shade here was a lot like one of the shades in that Lancome palette. And, you know, then they had also the yellow, and I had never really tried a yellow shadow before. And these inexpensive shadows are a great way to try new shades. I feel like they're almost like a, when they give you a sample at the store to try, these are pretty inexpensive when you think of all the shades you're getting and how much product. And it's a great way to try something that is new to you instead of buying an expensive palette with those shades. So hello to Leslie and Sandy. She says, never wear liner, my eyes are so hooded. Well, what I would say with hooded eyes, and my daughter, my oldest daughter, I have two daughters, but the oldest one has very tiny eyes, very small, and they're hooded. And what I love to do with her 
um, Sandy is just get a very small slanted brush. I have one right now I'm using that BK Beauty sent me that I really love. And uh, I dip into powder and do her liner that way. It gives such a soft look to the eye. It's so beautiful. It gives you some definition because on her eyes are so small. If I draw them with a liner, almost her whole lid is covered. So doing it with shadow, I found, gives her that look. It makes her eyes look huge. And if I were doing that look on my daughter, I would have taken this shade old fashioned right here and done that eyeliner. And I've done her eye makeup when she goes to events and does things. And so she loves it. She doesn't normally wear much liner either. She usually just puts on mascara, but when she's going somewhere at night and wants to have a more uh, glamorous look, we do the liner. So it says, uh, Tamara, welcome Tamara. We talk all the time too. I'm so happy you're here. Is this Maybelline palette considered a cool or warm palette? Well, let's take a look. To me, there are some cool shades, but it's sort of a mixture, I would say. This shade here, um, well, like some of the shimmers are more warm, but then I would consider this yellow to be more of a cool tone, I think, and um, some of the neutrals more of a cool tone. It's sort of a mix, in my opinion. Someone else might think it's more warm. I tend to lean more warm with my shadows just because of the color of my eyes. I have hazel eyes, so I find that warm shades are just easier to work with for me. But um, I will try to come to the next live with some cool palettes for you. And I have some from Revlon to share tonight where we can probably find something cool for you that you would like. Now, Isabel says she likes L'Oreal mascaras and foundation. Isabel, I wore L'Oreal for so many years because I think at one point the dermatologist actually recommended that. They told me to stay away from certain foundations that at, in those days were causing more problems with skin and that the L'Oreal was less problematic. So that's sort of what got me on that journey. And I see B Walker says, love, love, love Lisa and BK Beauty, be kind. I do too. And she was so kind to me and sent me some brushes and I've been trying them out. I'm gonna be talking more about them, but I love Lisa and the message that she has. I think that's wonderful. So, and Chanel says her eyes are extremely hooded. So Chanel, I would say the same thing if you would use, I don't know, maybe you've already tried powder liner. Let me know in the comments if you have or not. I would love to know, but that seems to work really good for my daughter. And Tamara says, I know many browns turn reddish on me. I'm uh, assuming these are warm. Tamara, um, the one thing I would ask too is, are you using a primer on your lid? I am loving that one I talked about recently from Ilia. It's more money, it's a little higher priced, but it has a slight shimmer to it. And I'm telling you, my shadows have been staying great. So I think primer is really important with getting the authentic color of the eyeshadow. And I see that Kelly Girl says, I know we're talking about cosmetics, but any suggestions for face and neck firming products and tools would be appreciated. I'd like to try the new face, but it's not my budget. I have a couple of great suggestions, Kelly. I just did a gua sha video last week. I posted my routine where you could actually do it with me. Now I noticed um, one of my subscribers, Shirley wrote me and said, right now the tools were unavailable. There's another set from that company I'm gonna put in later into my Amazon store because they're pretty much very similar tools. But I have seen the biggest difference doing gua sha for about five to 10 minutes every day. It's just like, um, you know, brushing our teeth or doing any of these things. They have, it really, in my opinion, has to be done on a consistent basis to see a difference. 
Now, the, uh, as far as a cream, I like the Gold Bond Neck Cream. It's very inexpensive, under $10. I've seen a good difference with that. One last suggestion I have for you is Kakai Oil. I was using Kakai Oil on my face, and I still work it into my routine, and I was bringing it like this onto my neck. Well, I noticed skin that was loose under my neck after, you know, maybe two or three weeks, I'm like, where did that go? It's so tight now. And I started putting my thoughts together, stringing it all together and realized it was the cacao oil, which is like a vitamin A. So in place of say Retin-A, I was using cacao oil. So if you haven't tried that, but I've had so many people write me when I've talked about the Gold Bond neck cream and say, hey, that worked for me too. I've used it a long time. So that's worth a shot, especially since it's like $10. So I think that's good. But if you want to get on a routine that's really going to help your neck, your jawline, everything, keep everything lifted, I don't think you can do better at home than Gua Sha. That is my personal opinion. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my neck. Now in here, this is where Gua Sha, I think, has really helped. Now keep in mind, as I've said before, you're looking at a 57 year old neck, <laughs> but I think I'm in pretty good shape with what I'm doing at home. I've had no procedures, no Botox, no fillers, no anything. And I've been able to just do that at home using like I put jojoba oil or I use, um, Another thing I love to do is anything you have that's very emollient, your moisturizer you can use. You do not need to use oil. So like the um, Aveeno, the oat moisturizer, I've talked about the gel that is very much like uh, Clinique's uh, moisture gel that they have. I put that gel on my face, take my tool, and start doing my gua sha. And some days, most days now, I do it twice a day actually. I'll do five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. It helps so much with puffy under eyes. Also, if you have those, another thing that it has helped me with, my sinuses. Because we've got all these sinus passages here, sometimes I'll actually feel drainage after I do gua sha. So it's pretty amazing. I'm glad you brought that up. I see El Hun says, has anyone ever tried face yoga? I did a little bit myself. I really would like to get back on that train. It's just a matter of keeping those routines up. But hello, we've got Shelly from Nova Scotia. That is amazing, Shelly. We're so happy you're here. And Jacqueline, Hello, welcome back, welcome home. I love how they say that when you go to Disney, they say welcome home and that's how I feel here. You're here in my home, so welcome. And um, let's see, the oil that I'm talking about is jojoba, J-O-J-O, jojoba, B-O-A, right? Uh, jojoba oil, Been, uh, I'm a little tired after school all day, but. Thank goodness it's not a spelling test, right? So jojoba oil is an oil that is closest, they say, to the oil you produce on your skin. So that's one, but don't feel trapped into that. I've used grapeseed oil. You just want an oil that's going to give you slippage and is not going to irritate your skin. So if you're trying something you've never tried before, put some on your skin go around for a day or so and see if you have any kind of reaction. Uh, so I would always advise that when you use these oils, but if you have a moisturizer that stays a little slippery so you can move the tool, you just don't want the tool going like this, bumping along. You want the tool to be able to glide along the skin. So um, I think that is just one thing that works great for me and the cacao oil. Oh, she was wondering about the cacao oil. C-A-C-A-Y, cacao oil. That is like a vitamin A, but a more uh, natural vitamin A. Not that 
we won't get into the whole natural discussion, but it's a, a natural oil and uh, gives you, uh, works on fine lines and it's supposed to tighten the skin also. I've used it, uh, many of the mature beauty YouTubers several years ago were talking about it a lot and were using it. I know that Mary Ellen, after 60, has used Kakai oil a long time and I think she's actually the one that got me using it. I love Mary Ellen. I'm sure most of you know Mary Ellen. If you don't, you'll wanna go over to her channel. Uh, Mary Ellen's a special person, but she was using that, getting great results and Retin-A was just way too harsh for my skin. So I thought I'll give that a shot and it worked great. So, um, there we go. And Sharon says, I tried the Gold Bond and I did like it, but when she told us about the cacao, I was immediately ready to try it. The nice thing, Sharon, about the cacao uh, is that it's not just for your neck. So think of it like that's your vitamin A for the night. That's what you're putting on to treat fine lines, wrinkles, and for tightening. I really love it. So um, let's talk, Helen, about mascara. That happens to be one of the products I'm gonna talk about from Maybelline. I'm wearing right now this Lash Sensational. Now again, we're talking about favorites. So I brought in some new favorites and some old favorites. I really like this. This is in the shade Blackest Black. I never thought I would like these plastic brushes. I sort of like the traditional um, fiber kind of brush that we grew up using as teens and in our 20s and 30s. This is plastic, but let me tell you, it grabs those lashes. I did curl my lashes tonight with my heated lash curler that I've talked so much about. So that's why I have a more lifted look. They didn't look this lifted just with the mascara. But I really love this. You know, the thing is when makeup's been out for a while, you can get great deals. Right now, I think on Amazon, this is a little over $6 or close to seven. So all these new mascaras are coming out, but they're 11, they're $12. The price point on them are much higher. So if you're on a budget, what I would say is don't get these products right when they come out, you know, get some things like this in uh, your collection, especially something like mascara that works and is inexpensive. So I really like this one. If you tried this one before, let us know in the comments. This is the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect for Maybelline. And, um, Let's see, I see, Isabel says, I use Gold Bond under my eyes at night. Now, Isabel, what Gold Bond are you using because there's so many products from them? Are you talking about the neck cream or is it a different one? I would love to know. Analyzing My Life, I love that name. That is such a cool name. She says, I finally got my hands on a heated lash curler and I'm over the moon in love with it, no more pinching in my eyes with traditional curlers. Oh, me too, and you know what? My problem is with deep set eyes, when I would put those curlers in, it just, most of them I don't think are made for deep set eyes. So for me, it was always challenging, a lot of pinching, a lot of pulling the lashes, so I'm glad I could ditch them and go with the heated curler. Isabel says she loves the L'Oreal telescopic mascara. It lengthens beautifully. I totally agree with you, Isabel. I've bought that before several times and I love that one. So maybe that's one when I talk about L'Oreal favorites I'll have to bring. Let's talk about this new product. It's from Maybelline. It's their Perfector 4-in-1. Now when this first came out a couple of months ago, maybe three months ago, oh my gosh, everywhere I went in town wiped out. So uh, thankfully, I do have this linked to Ulta. They didn't have it at Amazon yet for a low price. It's very expensive right now because it keeps get so getting sold out. Now, I want to tell you a secret that I didn't know until I was using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. You guys might know this, but I didn't know this for a long time until a couple of years ago. These can be removed. 
So a lot of people kept complaining with the um, concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Oh, I hate that sponge. And they would talk about it. But the cool thing about this is you can take the sponge off and look, you can, it'll come out the top. And then if you have something like I have my glass palette, I can just work with it on the glass palette. Now you might not mind the sponge, some people do. So I wanted to make sure everybody knew that because when I first started using years ago Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, I didn't know that sponge came off. Now with this, it's what I'm wearing tonight on my cheeks, this glow. This has been compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I think it's very similar. It gives a similar look. I don't think anybody that sees you out in public is gonna say, that ain't to the Charlotte Tilbury, that's Maybelline. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know that. So I really love the way this looks. And I initially couldn't get a hold of it in a light shade, so I bought this in medium. Now, some people are saying you can use this like a primer all over your face. On me, I did not like the look of that. It was just way too much for me. So I really feel like I didn't need the medium. If you're wanting the highlight like me, then the light, unless you have darker skin. If you have darker skin, I bet this would look amazing on you. So I wanna show you what this shade is in case your skin is a, a darker shade than mine. Let's go here. So it's more, I'll get the hang of this. There we go. It's more bronzy. So it is beautiful, I like it, but it's just not the typical color that I usually wear for a highlighter. It is beautiful though, but you, if you have a deeper skin tone, then I would go with the medium. But the shade that's always sold out has been the light shade. It's been very hard to get a hold of, but you can get it. I have the link in the description below and they have it at Ulta. Much easier to get it online than in the store. What I've found recently when I go into Ulta, which is pretty much on a weekly basis, the lighter shades that work for my skin tone are sold out. So I've been ordering from Ulta online so I can just get the shade and um, have it to show you. And so I see Isabel says, neck cream, yes. Well, I haven't tried that. The one thing I, would, I can see where the neck is very thin the skin so I would see if it would work under the on the neck that it would work in the eye but still I always caution for the eye area you know what you put on but it's working for Isabel and she loves it and um, so now let me show you a couple more things let's talk about what I'm wearing on my lips right now these have been so talked about on YouTube, every YouTuber that I watch talks about these, but they are amazing and it's the Lifter Gloss. Now the great thing is they've come out with so many new shades that some of the older shades, the prices have dropped. Again, as these products become where they've been out a while and everybody's not fighting over them anymore, then the price on these tend to drop. Now this is probably my most used shade because it's so versatile. It's 001 Pearl, and it's just absolutely, look at that. That is beautiful. These stay on your lips. I bought the Fenty because I bought the shade that was compatible with that, and I wanted to see if I could tell a difference. I really ended up liking these better than the Fenty. The Fenty, uh, you know which ones I'm talking about, the Gloss Bomb. They're very sticky which is great for keeping them on your lips, but it was a little much for me. So I ended up preferring these. So I bought this shade and then the one I'm wearing tonight, which I really love much more than I thought I was going to love is Ruby. I thought this would be so dark on my lips, but it's really very light. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on. And again, the liner I have on my lips right now is the Sand Beige from NYX. And I'll just put a little more. You can never have enough gloss, right? 
There we go. But look at how beautiful these are. Most of these right now on Amazon are priced between the high $6, $6.93, something like that, and about $8. Now, some other shades that I have, this was a limited edition, but you can still get the shade. This is crystal, and the number on that is 010. And it's so beautiful. Show you a few more shades. I told you I went over the top with all these. This is the rest of them that I have. But this one's so pretty. It's Reef, number six. Then this is a beautiful, unique color stone, it's called. Then I like this one too because of the, it's got sort of that milky pink look. This is called Ice. Let me show you where you can see it a little bit better. And then this one is Topaz, this brown. Uh, it's very bronzy. I love this all the time, but this is sort of that J-Lo kind of look, this Topaz. So those are some of the shades that I love. I also um, have a shade Petal, I think, that's, let's see, I think it's still, no, I laid it down, I guess. Um, this one, Petal, and it's a, a rosy, mauvey kind of shade, and I really like this. I've worn this one as one of the most that I've worn. But have any of you bought the lifter glosses? I see Chanel says she loves the lifter glosses. And El Hun says uh, she loves the gloss in Moon. Yes, I don't have that shade. That's a, I looked at that one online, and that is a beautiful shade. And Brandy says, I still love my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. I'm going to get every drop I can out of the bottle. I know, it is an amazing product. I When we compare dupes, you know, Charlotte just makes incredible things. So... A dupe is got its place, but you still, Charlotte does make incredible products. But I love doing the dupes because when it's not in our budget to afford Charlotte, it's nice to have something to wear that we love that gives a very similar look. So I do love dupes for that reason. Now we're going to move on to the last brand that I want to talk about tonight, and that's Revlon. Revlon, to me, makes so many beautiful lipsticks. And when they really surprised me this past year has been their eyeshadows. Their eyeshadows have just gone to a new level. And a level, I feel, that is much above many at the drugstore. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these. These are amazing, and I have several of Charlotte's um, eyeshadows I've tried, and these remind me of her pop that you put on top because of the shimmer that you get out of them, So, and how it has like a water look to it. I want to show you my favorite one of the bunch right now, and this is called slight flex and the reason i love this so much is this shade right here it's a duochrome and it's so hard at the drugstore to find a duochrome eyeshadow so i want to swatch that on my finger just to show you what i mean look at that that is beautiful this palette is just my favorite one that they came out with. And I'll show you the last shade here. Those to me are just stunning. They work well together. They look beautiful on the eyes. I had a question from one of my subscribers the other day. She wrote me and she said, I have a red hair and she was describing her skin and everything. And she said, if you just had one of the bunch to buy, what would you choose? And I wrote her and I said, no doubt it would be Slight Flex. I think with her coloring, that green and the duochrome, they're just gonna look amazing on her eyes. So I'm really excited for her to get that and try it. 
But this one here is called Tantrum. And I'm gonna open these so you can see these better. I thought this shade was such an interesting shade. And so I love the combinations that Revlon put together with these palettes. I see Elhan says, yes, I love the Revlon cream shadows. I love those too. I have talked about those so much on my channel over the past three years because so many cream shadows on the market are very expensive and you know they're going to dry out they're not going to last like these powders do so since you're going to have to replace them more i really love when you can find an affordable cream shadow that will work and they stay on the eyes beautifully they absolutely do so i agree with you on that and this one's beautiful this one is called the big bang so the first one i think i ever bought was slight flex and I was so impressed with it that I kept adding. And every palette I got, I wasn't disappointed, so I go and order another one. But I think these are so pretty. And again, remember when I was telling you I had bought that Lancome palette with the heart and everything? Well, they had shades like this in that palette, just different shades. And I thought, I need to branch out. I'm wearing too many nudes. It would be so nice to go a little outside the box and use some brighter shades. So I really like this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this one is called Clap Back. And I love this too, this blue and this shade here. Now we're talking. Here we go with our cool shades. Remember earlier I was saying I wanted to share some cool shades with you. Look at this taupe here. Wow, that is just beautiful. And then you've got gorgeous. This would be a great palette. And look at that pop. This, I think, here would make a beautiful liner. We were talking earlier about using a slanted brush. I love the one that I've been using from BK Beauty. Sigma has a great small, a very tiny slanted brush and I dip into something like this and use that as liner. So this is gorgeous. Again, this is called Clap Back. Now I have one more to share with you. Actually, I don't know if I told you. Yeah, we, I showed you Tantrum. Let me show you this last one. That's a dub. And this is for those of you that love the browns and the neutrals now to me this is very all cool tones so if you like the nude shades but you want cooler tones these are not warm at all and absolutely beautiful and Jacqueline says I was loving the Essence palettes but these palettes are just gorgeous I agree with you I think these are a step quite a bit above the Essence I do love the Essence I've been using them but this is just the most unique formula from the drugstore about I've ever seen. So Revlon, you hit a home run. They really did. I'm so thrilled with these palettes. Uh, and bye to Tamara. We're so happy you could come tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I want to show you a couple more things from Revlon before we end things. Their blushes they hit a home run with this whole blush line. They're so inexpensive. They're so gorgeous on the skin. I'm going to show you in a minute the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks tonight, but I love this. They're so affordable. This one is Naughty Nude. Now, this is a repurchase for me. I love this because it's nude, but doesn't wash me out. It's just really soft on the skin. If you're wanting that bronzy kind of look, this is just absolutely stunning. I bought it when they used to make it in a different uh, palette than this. It was a longer palette and I had bought Naughty Nude a long time ago. And um, let's see, Jacqueline says, what's the name of the brown tone palette? Okay, I think you're talking about, let me get it out here. I will 
try to find that for you. Now I laid it down and I don't see it. But I'll tell you what, I have everything in my Amazon store. If you just go to the uh, link where it says show more or the little down arrow, everything's there. And I put the palettes in the store. So you'll be able to look at all of them. They're different prices because they've been out a while. Some were lower than others, but it was all in the maybe six to $10 price range, maybe even a little lower than that. So I have a few more blushes here that I want to show you that are absolutely stunning. Here, let me, I just found the brown palette. I think this is the one you're talking about, Jacqueline, and it's called That's a Dub, D-U-B. So I think that's the, this is the one I said was cooler tone browns. So I think, okay, great, Jacqueline got that. And hello to Trisha. We're so glad that you could come tonight. And she says uh, she's going to watch the rest of it later. Thank you for doing that, Trisha. That is so kind of you. Now, one shade I've used a lot is this one, Rosy Rendezvous. And actually, it's so funny. I try out so much makeup, I forget what I've already bought. So I thought, I saw it online. I said, what a gorgeous color. Bought it, I have two of these now. So one goes to my daughter, but this she's laughing at me, I know, when she's watching this, because this has happened more than once that I bought the same shade twice because I forget what I've already bought. But this is so gorgeous. I really love this because I like these rosy, mauve -y kind of tones. And so that is a beautiful shade. And here's the second rosy rendezvous. So as I said, oh, well, I dropped one. Now I have one that works. So let's see, we're on to Rose Bomb. That's the glory of live. I've run out of space for all this stuff, so now it's falling. This is what I'm wearing right now, Rosy Bomb. And I wanted something, you know, on camera, the lights can wash out. Uh, your skin a lot. So I wanted something that would really pop and show. So I wrote, wore this one tonight and I think it's such a pretty color. It's a little brighter than I normally wear, but I actually like it so much. I think it's good to try brighter things every once in a while and step outside of our comfort zone. And Brandy says, I just bought the Revlon Trio. I wanted a matte color with a contour and highlighter. It makes putting on my makeup easier when I don't have time. I feel the same way. I love those kind of palettes. You just get it out and you've got like three products in one. So it is such a time saver. Now this one is one I really love. It's a soft pink. For those of you that are very pale or you just like a soft pink, this is called Oh Baby Pink. And it is one of the lightest uh, blushes that I own and it is beautiful because it's light but shows up on my skin. I don't have to put a lot of it on to get color. So I really uh, love this so much. And uh, B Walker says, so amazing you didn't lose your cool when it hit the floor. Let me tell you, after 28 years of being in education, I am used to having to roll with it. That is for sure, especially the last couple of years. I have had to roll with it. So thank you for um, having that moment with me there. The last one I wanted to share is Apricute. I love uh, coral, peachy kind of blushes because I think it makes me look like I have more of a tan and that shade just happens to work really well with my skin tone. So this one's probably gotten the most use of the bunch because if I feel ever my skin looks a little dull, I'm like, let me grab some Apricute. That'll step my game up. So these blushes are amazing. If they were from, you know, in fancy packaging, everybody would think this was a high-end blush. So if you haven't tried these, I think that you would love them. I have enjoyed them so much. So I think they're a real fine. Now, lastly, I have a few things from Revlon. One that is brand new. 
that I want to share that I've used a few times now and my thoughts are really good on it. I love it. And they're the big trend this year, the way the makeup industry is going is that makeup is going to have skincare ingredients in it. And they've been going that way for a while. I've talked about products that Neutrogena came out with a couple of years ago that had skincare ingredients. So this isn't really new, but they're really amping it up this year. So, so many things are gonna have skincare in them. Well, this is one of them. It's their new concealer. Now we know we talked earlier about the NYX. I'm actually, for those of you that joined us later, I am just wearing concealer tonight on my skin, but I used it like foundation. So I used the new NYX concealer uh, from their Bear line, and a lot of people have been using it like a foundation. It's very pigmented, it spreads nice. Now I haven't tried this one yet as a foundation, but what I wanted to say to you is that this has caffeine in it. So it's perfect for the under eye area. So that's a new trend we're gonna see is some of these concealers and things at the drugstore. We've seen this before from high end where we had to pay 30 some or 40 some bucks for a concealer. But now we're seeing it in something that's $11.99. Now this has a little sponge applicator on it and I think it's beautiful. I really like it. So far the reviews, I think it got four stars out of five. Uh, most people, especially people uh, in the mature community are saying that they really like it. Now what's awesome that I just ordered on Amazon because I didn't realize it when I first bought this, this comes just like Maybelline does in neutralizer and in brightener. Now, when I hear brightener, I think Becca right away because everybody, uh, you know, that's sort of the standard of the bright pink under eye look is Becca. And I've talked about a product, the supercharged one that uh, Milani nailed. They did great. They nailed it. It is an awesome product. I use the pink in the under eye area. It spreads easy. It's bright, just like Becca. I'm so curious if Revlon's is going to be like Becca's. So I've ordered it. Maybe I'll have it next week, I hope to share with you and I can tell you my thoughts on it. At least uh, I'll have used it a few days. But I'm super excited about the neutralizer too because that's great for areas if you're trying to cover a dark spot or purple like me around the nose. I have these broken capillaries that foundation doesn't always conceal that great. So um, that's awesome. Now I see uh, Sandy says, I want that rosy balm and Apricute's nice too. I love having both. So if I'm going for the rosy look, I might do rosy balm. And then if I'm, I really judge blush. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I judge blush a lot by what I'm wearing, the clothing I'm wearing. So when I'm wearing navy, I think roses, rose shades look good, or maybe a nude look to pair with it. So I usually pair my blush and lips with the top I'm wearing or the dress or you know the outfit I'm wearing. So I really love, yeah, she says, I wish I could hand you a water bottle. Yeah, I know, I should have brought some water with me tonight. I was rushing around before the live stream and I've been talking all day at school. So now I'm starting to sound, uh, I'm in the Lou Rawls range, as I say. By the end, I'll probably sound like Barry White. But this is a great product here I wanted to share with you. I have two more to share this Rose Glow Face Gloss from Revlon. And it is beautiful as a highlighter. It says luminize and hydrate, and they put on the front of the packaging 80% water. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this. And as a matter of fact, I don't think I hear much about Revlon on YouTube. You hear about a lot of other brands, but I don't hear a whole lot about Revlon. I, hi, Carla. 
And uh, Carla's been here before. She, Carla, has a wonderful channel. If you'd love to, if you have time after the live stream, go over to her channel. Uh, she's such a beautiful person, kind, beautiful on the inside and out, and she is just amazing. I love how she does outfits. She'll take a, a expensive outfit off the internet and then replicate it with things from the thrift store, things that she's found that, that are very inexpensive. And that's hard to do. That really is hard to do, Carla. So my hat off to you. I don't know that I could do that. I've never found that some of the amazing things you have found. So I love how you do that. It takes a lot of creativity to do those kind of videos and a lot of hard work too. But I wanna show you this gloss from Revlon so you can see. Look at the shimmer right here that this gives. So if you like those kind of Charlotte-esque products like the Flawless Filter, this is really a nice product. I like it because it is so thin like water. Let's put some on the glass palette so you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna put some here. Now I put quite a bit on, I would never use this much, but I put some so you can just sort of see the texture of it and see, but you can, I'm gonna to try to tilt it where you can see the shimmer to it. Beautiful shimmer and looks amazing on the skin. You can still see it right here where I put it there. I love that product and you don't really see or hear much about that product. The last one that I want to talk about tonight is Revlon's Colorstay Satin Ink. So many of you have asked me, what do you use for makeup that lasts a long time? And so many of the uh, long Colorstay type of products can be very drying on the lips, or you put them on and immediately my lips will look like prunes. And I'm thinking, I can't go to school looking like that. I've got to step it up and I put some kind of gloss on top because I don't want my lips to look like that. These don't look like that. Now the shades I bought work beautiful together. Actually, I did a lip look where I used the deeper shade on the side and put the um, lighter shade in the middle. So I'm gonna put these on my hand as we sort of close tonight so you can see what I like about these is that they have a satin finish. They don't have that super dried out matte look, which to me, you know, works for a younger person, but even some of them, I'll see someone young with that on and their lips will look dry, like they need some kind of topper. But these are just so beautiful. And what I like is they feel very moussey on the lips. They feel they're very lightweight. They're just beautiful. And the reason I got them is I don't have time really during the day for touch-ups. So I like to have a lips product I can put on and I'm not going to go to the restroom at lunchtime and see all my lipstick is gone. So often I will take a lip pencil, like the one I talked about from NYX, that sand beige, and fill in my whole lip, and then even go over with something like this, or just use this alone. But these are excellent, excellent products. So if you're looking for a very inexpensive uh, lip product that will stay and give you some shine, and not be off of your lips in an hour. I really do love these. And the two shades I bought are 006, which is Eyes on You. That's this one. And then 007 is called Partner in Crime. So those, now what I want to try is one of these in red. I've been so into red lips, I never thought I'd be uttering those words because I always never liked red on my lips, but there's so many great shades of red now that I've been able to find some that I really like. And I've been wearing them and posting some pictures on my Instagram 
If you're not on my Instagram, I would love to have you over there. It's Laura Ray Beauty. Now, I don't want to give you the wrong idea and think it's all makeup over there. I post things just about my life, things that I love to do. I posted a workout that I like to do on a mini trampoline. It's one of those rebounders. And it's me at the beach just running on the rebounder. But I love that. So I want to share sort of things from my life on Instagram that I wouldn't necessarily share on YouTube. So it's been a lot of fun and I love connecting with everybody that's over there. It's just really nice. So, and I see um, Jackie's here and uh, I'm so glad you're here tonight. She says, I finally caught a, a live. Yes, we're about to end the live. But the great thing about these is you can always watch the replay. I know they're very long, so you might just want to watch parts of it or pause it and watch it some of it later. But tonight I talked about NYX, uh, some great new products from them that I'm loving and some old products that I hate to say older products. It's just we're in this fast makeup. They haven't even been around that long. Sometimes they're only around six months and they're considered a product that has been around a long time. So thank you, Sandy, for coming and for your kind comment. And I see Anne says, oh, yes, try the fire and ice. Definitely. I want to do that. I love that. And um Shelly is asking me about my heated lash curler. I don't remember the name of the brand. It's a brand I bought off of Amazon. But if you go into my Amazon store, I think in the section where it says Laura's lifestyle, the heated curler would be there. I put it in several videos. So I'm sure um, I, if you'd like Shelly, what I'll do is I'll try to look for it and put it in with the uh, products from this video. And all you'll have to go is to any of the links. You can click on any of them that are Amazon links and it'll take you in and you'll see the heated curler. So when I'm done, I'll go look. I'm hoping it's not out of stock right now, but the heated curler has been a game changer. That's, I curled my lashes tonight. They don't uh, stay up like this. So um, I will definitely put that in the store for you to take a look at. It's under $20 and oh, it's been great. It has a USB charger, so you don't have to use batteries. Initially, when I bought my first heated curler ever, it was a Panasonic and it needed batteries. And that was just a little bit of a hassle. So, um, Trisha says, I'm going to try those long wearing lip products from Revlon. I hope you love them. They feel like a little moussey, like I really like the texture of them. And uh, Carla from Real Chicks TV says, yes, I have the fire and ice red. It's terrific. I am going to get that shade. Maybe I'll wear that next week. That's what I'll do. I'll wear some fire and ice. I love it. You know, we're at a wonderful age. And I think this is the time I feel like in our lives, we need to just give things a try and do things uh, that we haven't done in our life yet. And so I'm trying to branch out this year. That's one of my things that I'm uh, really working for this year is to try some new shades and try things I might not normally wear and just roll the dice a little bit more. So I appreciate all of you and I'm gonna go get a glass of water. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I love the interaction between everyone because you're helping each other out and sharing ideas and it's just awesome. So it's been wonderful uh, this week on my YouTube channel on Saturday. I have a video I think is going to be really fun and it's like about beauty truths. So I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun making it. And uh, this is going to be a regular thing. Our live streams will be at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And so I hope to see you next Wednesday. I really enjoy doing these. And I, before you leave, if you tell me your favorite brand, 
I'd sort of like to bounce off of that and pull some of the products I love from those brands you're recommending. So if you would tell me, is it L'Oreal? Is it Maybelline? Some of them might be the brands I talked about tonight. If I didn't talk about a product you love from NYX, Maybelline, or Revlon, leave it in the comments. Maybe it's something I haven't tried and I can go out and get it and try it too. So thank you, Sharon. Thank you to all of you beautiful ladies. I love you so much. I hope you have a blessed and a beautiful rest of the week. And I will see you on Saturday. Much love.